<laughs> Thanks, Ashley, for coming to my house and getting me sick. <coughs> That's right, calling you out. What up, Internet? Corinne here, and you're watching Corinne vs. Pit Cocktail Edition. So I guess you could call this Corinne vs. Cocktail. That's right, today I'm trying my hand at an ice ball cocktail. Ice balls, you know? But of course, I'm not just gonna do any regular old ice ball cocktail. No, I'm gonna make a galaxy ice ball cocktail. Yes, a bunch of you have been suggesting this project, but I also love cocktails. So let's get started, shall we? Actually, I'm pretty sure we're not gonna be using this. So we'll just put this away. Alrighty, so first we have to make our ice balls. I'm gonna be using the same spherical molds that we have used to make countless bath bombs. Probably gonna taste a little bit like rose essential oil. Maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. Yeah, so we're just gonna fill these with some water and then put them in the freezer for an hour and a half. Then you gotta make sure to be back from whatever other important tasks you were achieving at the moment to flip them and let them sit for another hour and a half. <sighs> When it's time, I guess you gotta check on them. See you later, Potter World. It's fine, I am pretty excited. I got one of my ice balls out and ran it under some cold water. Now I just have to make a little hole in the top. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I think we have a weak ball. Mayday, mayday, we lost one. So I think it's pretty safe to say that attempt number one was kind of a failure. That's okay, moving on to attempt number two. I let this one stay a little longer in the freezer and it's looking pretty good. Again, I have to make a little hole using this glue gun, which I I think is just ingenious. And yes, fabulous whole action. Now I have to extract the liquid with the extractor thingy. And voila, that's a nice ice ball. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm supposed to be able to store this thing in a container in the freezer until I'm ready to use it while I set about preparing my drink making station. First and foremost, you need some pretty flowers, very important. And then you also need these stupid paper straws that only work for like two sips. And then all this other stuff too. Alrighty, I think I'm ready to get my ice ball out and <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work, you guys. It's all melted to the bottom. Now it's kind of like an ice square on one side and that's not what we're going for. Back to square one or ball one, if you will. And here we go with attempt number three. Alright, boom, boom, boom. Just gotta fill up some more things. Set the timer for another hour and a half and honestly, I can't say that I'm too upset with the situation. All right, here we go. Things are looking pretty good so far. Extraction was a success. And yes, I think we're in the ball business, people. Ready to make some cocktails. First, I'm adding some coconut milk to my glass very elegantly, as you see here, and then just giving it a little sprinkle of sparkle dust. This looks interesting. Now I have to set my ball right down in there and proceed to make a ridiculous mess with a bevy of terrible ingredients. Yeah, I don't know why I'm using this thing to put the liquid in the ball, especially when I have a funnel. Yep, there you go. It's gonna do the same thing for you without all of the struggle. And my ball's broken. It's broken. That's okay though. Just gonna add my star straw here for some extra pizzazz and give it a taste test. Oh. No, no one should ever drink this. Back to ball one again. Attempt number four. I'm thinking that if I add some food coloring to the ball water, we may have a better galaxy come out. What? Yeah, and after three arduous hours, we're ready to Tom Petty. Starting with my blue balls, I will be performing the extraction process, and yes, it went pretty smoothly. Same with the purple ball. Now I'm going to mix up a simple cocktail of vodka and blueberry juice and just stir it with some ice with my super long spoon like an asshole. Then I put my blue ball in the glass and fill it using my little funnel. Whoops, there's a little too much liquid there. That's all right though, still looks pretty cool, especially with the drizzle of the coconuts and a sprinkle of magic. This is exciting, cause it's hammer time. <laughs> All right, mini Thor hammer, let's do this. I said, let's do this. <laughs> this is really hard, very difficult to break. I'm kind of afraid I'm gonna break something else here. If Rob was doing this project, this would be a catastrophe. Oh, here we go, yes, galaxy cocktail. Fuck yeah, let's give it a little taste test, huh? Still a little strong, but definitely drinkable. It's actually not too bad. I give this one a thumbs up. Unfortunately, the cocktail for the purple ball gave me a little more trouble than I really needed at the moment. And also, it was almost impossible to crack. What the f 
Stop, mini Thor hammer. I thought we were in this together. This actually seems pretty dangerous. But I like a little danger. In the long run, it came out pretty galaxy y, I guess. And I don't hate how it tastes, but don't get me wrong, it still tastes terrible. It's just not hate worthy. I also think I may be getting a little tipsy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, starting to realize that I'm not very good at making cocktails. Good at sucking down a cocktail. <laughs> Where's Mamrie Hart when you need her? Ha! Ah, that's strong. <clears throat> okay, so I think these came out pretty cool looking, but I really think I would be missing out on an opportunity to make this black like my soul. So we're gonna try that now. So as you can see here, I'm simply adding some black food coloring to a ball mold and then waiting it out very begrudgingly. Just before my ball was ready to come out of the freezer, I mixed up some brown sugar and some activated charcoal and gave my glass a good rim job. Tired of all the innuendo yet? Me either! This is why we get along so well. <laughs> Now for the extraction. And yes, it went as well as it could, but after I got my cocktail all mixed together, sans ice, I was trying to get the ball out of the ball mold and it cracked in half. Also, the dye job is pretty lame. It's not all the way black like I wanted it to be. But that's all right, I'm gonna make it work. Yeah, I'm just pouring my drink mixture over the ball because I kind of shaped it back together again. I think it looks pretty fucking cool. This is actually my favorite one so far. I'm gonna tell you what, I ain't mad at the flavor of this thing either. It's delicious. I love my black cocktail. Okay, <laughs> so as a summization, I'm not really sure my ice ball cocktails were a complete success, but I'm f***ing happy, and that's worth something, I think. Well, I think that's all the cock tail shenanigans for this week. But not all the shenanigans are complete because I have a very exciting announcement to make. Yeah, that's right. My favorite cock tail and I are gonna be selling Threadbanger boxes starting right now. <laughs> Super exciting, right? But, but Corinne, but what's in the box? Well, I'll tell you. The first box is gonna be curated for Halloween. And you know how much we fucking love Halloween, so this shit is gonna be off the hook. Do people still say that anymore? No? Okay. <laughs> anyway, there's gonna be all kinds of weird shit in there. Limited edition Threadbanger merchandise that was designed by Rob and myself for this box. And this box only, so that's pretty cool. Each box will also include a limited edition Threadbanger t-shirt, special hand curated things that caught our eye, and a special golden ticket for an exclusive live stream event with Rob and myself. Yeah, we're pretty excited about the live stream event because we'll be completing one of the DIY kits that are in the box. Oh, did I forget to mention the DIY kits that are in the box? Yes, DIY kits in the box. If you're interested in our box, go to threadbangerbox.com where all the fun begins, I guess. Alrighty, until next time, I'll see you later.